Yo, what's good everyone? Today I'm checking out the Windows 11 update. If you didn't know, there's a new Windows 11 update here. It's called KB5027303. And if you read up on it, it actually says that there's improvements for high polling rate mice for gaming. And I went ahead and kept reading and uh, their example was using a laptop with a 1000 Hertz mouse and it stuttered on 1000 Hertz playing League of Legends. So needless to say, that didn't inspire much confidence, so I had to go ahead and get out the 8K mouse. I'm using the Death Adder V3, the wired one, to get 8K. Okay, you can see here I have the performance at 8K, right? And if I move my mouse, usually on Apex, it'll just instantly start centering, like even if I just turn around. So let's see. There is a bit of stuttering. Hmm. Oh wait, I alt tab and now it's working. Now it's buttery smooth. Seems perfectly smooth. Stop moving, you little shit! <laughs> AK with raw input buffer off, there's still no stutters. So if you don't know what raw input buffer was, is for Valorant to support high polling rate mice, right? Because in TAC FPS, it can be, you know, pretty helpful. So you used to need it on for 8K to not stutter, but I can go ahead and turn it off and it's still fine. So yeah, that's pretty great for people with high polling rate mice. You know, there's the final mouse coming out soon. That's going to have 4,000 and 8,000 Hertz. There's that Ponage mouse that has 2K, I think. And it's coming out with 4K. You know, the Razer mice already have 4K, G Wolves already has 4K. So now this just gives you a bit of assurance. And then also, if you don't play a game that has good mouse input implemented already, you'll be fine. Like you already saw, I was playing Apex at 8K. I was playing Battlebit at 8K. It's kind of nice to see now with the Windows update, it's not dependent on the game to implement high polling rate, but Windows itself just has a better implementation for high polling rate now. Hopefully this pushes more and more mouse companies to support higher polling rates now that we know that Windows can do it by itself. Another thing, I am using the Death Adder V3 and I just made a video comparing all the different versions of it. So now that higher polling rates are more accessible, you might be in the market for a higher polling rate mouse. Go ahead and check that video out if you're interested in the Death Adder V3.